Hey guys, um, so pretty much this is me just uh, setting up to do some some basic hand loading. Uh, so what I'll be using is a classic Lee loader in uh, 223. Um, and I'm just getting my phone out to time it just to see how long it takes to do 10 rounds. Um, it's not very difficult. Uh, it's a pretty easy process. It lets you pretty much have a basic way of um, getting into reloading without, you know, taking out a $200 deposit, well not deposit, but $200 just for a, a basic press and that's not even with dies or anything like that, that's just press alone, maybe some scales and a you know powder chucker or something, who knows. But uh, yeah, so this is just um, me just fiddling with the brass. All the brass has been uh, ultrasonically cleaned. Um, and deprimed, obviously, then cleaned. Uh, so I just, you know, use the factory uh, holders, I guess, to to store them. Um, yeah. So <clears throat> as you can see, I'm just getting set up. Um, I haven't really done an overlay like voiceover before, so this is a bit strange. <laughs> but you know, we'll see how it goes. Um, Shouldn't be too much longer. Once I go through this, the steps a few times, uh, I'll speed it up so you don't have to sit there for, for 12 minutes um, and watch me do boring things. But yeah, so basically I'm just about to get started. So yeah, here we go. So the first step is you put the, uh, the spent case into the sizing die and you hit it with the hammer just to resize it, make sure it's flush in there. Then you put the primer onto the primer tray and you just tap that in pretty pretty gently um, until it sits in and you just check it to make sure it's at the right length um, then you put the die back on and uh, scoop some powder, pour it in yep. and you know you just tap the sides just to make sure all the powder goes in because uh, it all counts, you just grab a projectile drop it in and then seat it yeah, just give it a good taps, a few good taps um, and that's it, that's a completed round, so I usually just check them over pretty quick, make sure they're all uniform, you know, no bulges or anything like that, and yeah, so yep, sizing the case, dropping a primer into the tray, seeding the primer, yep, so that's seeding the primer there, check the length, and pour the powder just tap it in, make sure it all goes in and then drop the projectile in and seat it sweet, and I'll just fast forward now so you don't have to watch this horrible horrible boring process but you know it works so yeah There you go. Ten rounds in. Oh, I'll stop that. Seven minutes, forty-five seconds. So, yeah, not bad. So basically, here I'm just rambling on yeah, about how um how like cost-effective it is because uh, uh, you basically you buy a factory yeah, ammo, factory um, ammo you shoot it, you have fun with it, yeah. you know, uh, then so, you. Yeah pick up the cases, um, you know, deprime them, clean them, size them, and load them in, in the classic Lee loader. So, it's a pretty efficient uh, system. You know, sure, it's not as accurate as, um, you know, tire presses or even progressive presses, but, um, you know, on a budget, it works well. Uh, the ammo is considerably more accurate than any factory ammo I've tried. Um, I've got some photos that I'll... I'll put I guess at the end of the video just to show um <clears throat> the the difference. Like one of the groups I'm not a great shot, but one of the groups I did was just freaking amazing. Um my best to date. Uh hundred meters, so not that far. But you know, I'm still a new shooter, so I was cheering. Um I think it was something like one point one centimeter group at a hundred meters. 
So, don't know what that is in inches, but god damn, that was good. Um, for me, anyway. Uh, yeah, so, just saying, you know, the kit was 30 bucks. Um, you pretty much get the brass for free, because you're getting it from the factory ammo. Uh, the, the real consumables are projectiles, powder, and primers. Um, you know, in Australia, at the moment, current prices are like... Uh, 500 grams of AR-2206H was 40 bucks. Uh, 100 uh, projectiles was something like 30 bucks, and primers are like four dollars, maybe five dollars for 100. So uh, it's not it, the cheapest because I'm not bulk buying, but I'm getting ammo tailored for my gun, um, which is awesome. You know, I get to. You know, be involved in the process, I guess. Uh, a bit of quality control. And yeah. Um, just, I guess, this is a great basic way to get into reloading on a budget. Um, yeah. Sweet. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Like I said, I'll, I'll put the video, uh, the pictures up of the groups I shot. Um, just to show you the difference of, you know, factory versus hand loaded, even with this basic kit. The hand loading is is so much more accurate. Um, yeah, cool, sweet. All right, guys. Um, check out the pictures and yeah. Bye. Yeah. Also, um, keep in mind these are five shot groups. So that little speck is five bullets in that one ragged little hole. Yeah.